Inugami Korone is a well-rounded, simple-to-play character whose main strengths revolve around a varied toolkit and high damage that scales well with your available resources. She has solid neutral pokes, a fireball, a DP, and a command dash that can allow you to reset your pressure when opponents start respecting you. Her corner carry is best in class, offering full-screen carry for only a single bar. Furthermore, she can utilize a good number of assists to augment her neutral and pressure. She does have weaknesses, however. Her reward off of whiff punishes and pokes is lacking without meter, and she has to rely on solid fundamentals and strike throw to open up her opponents. Her cancel options on block leave much to be desired, and she can struggle to approach against true zoners. Finally, although she isn't helpless, she lacks definitive options in neutral your opponent has to respect. Despite all of this, she is an easy and effective character who I'd highly recommend for beginners. Five M will be your main poke, fast and has good range. For one bar of meter, she can convert into good damage and corner carry. Six M is an advancing poke with a delayable follow-up. It can create strong, if interactable, scenarios in neutral. Also, excellent as combo filler due to the horizontal movement. Three H is your only true low poke. Its long total duration and mediocre range leave a lot to be desired. However, it has its uses against opponents who want to get up in your face, or as a gamble against dashes at round start. Jump Medium is a fast air-to-air -air with a good horizontal hitbox. Its main use is going to be checking opponents trying to jump over your fireballs. However, it can also be converted into a combo for good damage and corner carry. Most of your time in neutral will be spent throwing out fireballs and poking with 5M. 5M 5H can go into fireball on block, or 214H on hit. For meterless damage, you can simply use 214M instead. However, this will whiff at max range. Neutral Jump, or Jump Back JL and JM, can be used to catch out opponents who are playing too aggressively. Once your opponent starts respecting these options, you can mix in J214 L and M. It's a risky callout, but it leads to high rewards on hits. Just note that this is very unsafe on block. For those who want to play aggressive, you can gamble with Dash Up 5L, Raw 6MM, or even Dash Grab. Once your opponent starts respecting you, 2-2-S can be allow you to quickly close the gap off of 5M-5H strings. This allows you to go into either an immediate throw, or 5L. Inugami Korone excels in close-range strike throw scenarios. 5L can be used as a tick throw, or chained into an array of stagger pressure options. 5L2L can be used as a hit confirm or a mix up with grab on block. From there, you can go into Universal Overhead, MH, 3H for another low, or 2H for a jump cancel mix up. Just note, Korone does not have a good option for canceling into on block. 236L and M are mashable, and even with meter, you're always giving your opponent the opportunity to interact. Four, it is advisable to frequently grab the opponent, and sneak in resets when you can. 2H and to jump backwards is always an option to return to neutral. Or catch out mashes with J214 L and M.
Hurone's combos are as intuitive as they are damaging. Almost any hit can be confirmed into 2 and 4 H for great damage in corner carry. Assuming that you have the bar, you can very easily go into this combo. If you end up in the corner during the final 5M into 6MM sequence, you can substitute 2 and 4M for 2 2 M for more damage. Raw 2H anti-air can also lead into the jump cancel portion of this combo. And an air-to-air -air JM or JL can lead into the 5M 6MM sequence if you cancel into J214 L or M. Eaterlessly, you can do 2L, 2M, 2H into your ender of choice or depending on the situation, 5M 2H. <laughs> Pokes that lead into 214M or 214L can be cancelled into 214H for one bar of super chat meter. So long as you cancel the last hit, you can get a launch off of it. If it'll kill, it's usually worth spending the bar. If you really need to, 2-2-H can be converted into a combo for one bar of super chat meter. Without assists, there is no way to combo off of Universal Overhead. Against the standing opponents, however, a JL done at the earliest possible height can lead into a full combo. Not very practical, but it's still kind of cool. Rene's damage scales well with resources. Her 1 bar damage is excellent due to 214H. With two bars, you can either get 236S if you started the combo meterlessly, or you can use 214H multiple times in one combo. Three bars is the most I'd ever recommend spending on one combo, but it gives you massive returns in case you need it. Simply do a 214H launch and end with 5M into 236S. And as an absolute last resort, you can spend four bars on a single combo. Overall, Korone can use a variety of assists to good effect. Here are my thoughts on all of them. Mio gives you the option to combo off of overhead and grants even higher damage. I wouldn't recommend using her simply because you're not particularly strapped for damage as Korone. Furthermore, an assist that gives neutral utility is preferable given Korone's difficulty approaching. Marin, a very solid choice even if her off collab isn't particularly helpful. Her star call-in, however, gives you a solid opportunity to get in for just two bars. Given your high meterless and one bar damage, this is an easy trade. Amane. Not recommended. The command grab isn't that useful given that you already have a good strike throw mix-up. On top of that, your corner carry is absolutely insane already, so you should have no difficulty pushing your opponent to the corner. Iroha. A decent option, but not one I'd personally recommend. 
The ability to control aerial space strengthens your grounded presence, and the full screen slash can give you an opportunity to punish play at full screen. However, other assists simply have more benefit to Kodane in my opinion. Ayandarisu. I was initially really positive about this assist, but my opinion has gone down considerably after testing it out. In reality, the mid-range is where Kodane shines, so having Tengu stones as an assist doesn't help you out that much. Furthermore, the truck assist is not very useful, even though the damage is fine, it makes too much space if used anywhere but in the corner. Kiara. As of the current patch, Kiara is actually very useful. The ability to reflect projectiles can be very handy in matchups against zoners like Botan and Aki, who can nullify the impact of your straight projectiles. Her charge assist has good corner carry, but yet again, Kodane already has that in spades. Amelia Watson. Not recommended. Time stop gives you a combo off of overhead, but I have to do more testing to see to the extent to which it makes your pressure safer. Currently, though, I feel as though there's just better options. Roboco. A very solid option. Beam Super gives you presence at long range that can give you a chance to get in on your opponent, and Missiles lets you lock your opponent down as you prepare your mix-ups. Overall, a fine option and my main recommendation. Miko. Another very solid option. Korone's cancel options on block often leave her at disadvantage. Having Miko on the field lets you keep the pressure up while disincentivizing your opponents from interacting with you. As long as you can play a solid neutral game with your opponent, this is a massive boon to your pressure game. Korone is not a very difficult character, but she has all the tools she needs to win and will likely be one of the best characters for anyone new to Idol Showdown or fighting games in general. She has good fundamentals and rewards players for utilizing all of the game's system mechanics to their fullest. She isn't the absolute best in the game, but will serve as a solid foundation for anyone going forward.